A lot of people don't even believe that there is such a thing as reindeer. Okay, I'm Brendan Bolton and we uh, raise reindeer and elk. Uh, they're sort of pets and we also take them out around Christmas time to various Christmas events. Uh, you get lots of reactions, anything from are they really real to kids wanting to see them fly and wondering where Rudolph is. A uh, reindeer is a, a member of the deer family, it is a species. Uh, they're very similarly or very closely related to caribou, but caribou are a different subspecies. Reindeer have been domesticated for thousands of years over in northern Europe and they do not have a migratory instinct which the caribou do. Uh, the reindeer they have uh, guard hairs which you see and underneath is a real fine almost like wool and they're according to the experts that count that there's up to about 10,000 hairs per square inch keeps them very warm in the winter they have very large feet relative to their body size which is uh, helpful for walking through snow and on the muskeg in the north where they're native to their noses are covered in fur so you can see they're quite adap well adapted to the cold, whereas other members of the deer species have wet noses and is bare. The also an interesting thing with reindeer is both the males and the females have antlers, which is peculiar as they're the only member of the deer species where both have antlers. And the calves even start growing antlers when they're a couple weeks old. I've been accused of taking sheep and gluing antlers onto their heads. Uh, but they are, you know, obviously they're real. A lot of little kids always want me to make them fly, which I haven't been able to figure out how to do yet.